If you're someone who's new to exercise and you're looking for a safe way to strengthen your core, then this video is perfect for you. If you don't know who I am, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a 10 minute beginner core routine that's perfect for over 50s and people just getting started with exercise. Now your core is a set of muscles that makes up the area around the middle of your body and it's very important because it keeps the middle of your body stable and that includes the spine. If your core is not functioning properly, you are at a higher risk of injuries. Things like disc problems and arthritis over time can develop if your core isn't protecting you. But don't worry, if you're brand new to exercise, it's easy to strengthen the core provided you know how. And I've got a 10 minute routine to show you today that's going to help. Now before I show you the exercises, I just want to let you know that these are not gonna be suitable for everyone. Make sure you get checked out by your doctor before you give them a try. Avoid them if they cause any pain and don't do them against the advice of your healthcare practitioner. Let's have a look at the 10 minute routine now and hopefully you can follow along at home. So here is a gentle core routine that you can use to give you better core strength no matter where your starting point is. So all you need to do for this to work is to lie on a nice stable surface. You can use a mat on the floor or if you can't get down to the floor, your bed will work just fine. The first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is to activate your core. And your core are the muscles that make up the middle of your body, they wrap all the way around from the front of the stomach right round to the spine. And the main muscle we're interested in here is called the transversus abdominis, and it's a deep sheet of muscle that wraps right around like a corset in your body. Its job is to keep the spine controlled, and it's very important when we move, when we twist, and when we walk. So I'm gonna show you how to switch this muscle on. So you're gonna start off in this position, lying flat on your back. Your head is gonna be relaxed on a pillow. You want your knees bent up like this and you want everything to be relaxed. The first thing I want you to do is to take one hand and to just put it underneath your lower back. And you might find that as you're relaxed, you can very easily slide a hand in there with no problem. Some people are more naturally like this, they've got quite a big gap there. Others are more like me where it's a bit more neutral. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna work on activating the core and we're gonna use our hand as feedback. So to start off, all I want you to do is to use your tummy muscles to close down that space where your hand is and flatten your back against your hand. So a very small movement, but we're just activating the core, pushing the lower back down into your hand. And what you should feel is your back goes flat and you should feel your tummy muscles have to switch on to allow you to do that. I'm gonna take my hand away, just put my hands here and repeat. So we're just gonna flatten the back down and we should feel that this starts to activate. If you've never used these before, this might be the first time you feel your core working. But the important thing here is even though it's activated and I've got a nice flat back, I can still breathe into my tummy. So I want you to continue to breathe into your tummy whilst you keep your back flat. And the, for the first minute of this exercise, we're just going to maintain that position, breathing into the stomach as we keep the back nice and flat. Everything else should be nice and relaxed, but you should feel that you've got a nice stable midriff keeping that back. Flat. Now, if you find that difficult, what you can do is you can hold the position for five seconds, flattening the back and then relaxing. And then again, flattening your back down, hold for five seconds. You want to keep your head relaxed throughout. It's very important we don't do this to try and strain to get that back flat. It should just be the back and the hips that are doing a little bit of movement to flatten the back. So this is gonna make up the foundation of all of the exercises we're going to do today. So once you've warmed up your core, you've learned how to activate it, you've got that back flat, next thing we're gonna do is maintain that position, so keeping the core switched on, and you're gonna lift one leg up towards you. You're gonna bring the leg up as high as you feel comfortable taking, it doesn't really matter how high it goes, and then you're gonna drop that leg back down without allowing the back to lift. So you're paying most attention here to what's happening underneath your back, keeping that maintained 
as you lift your legs and then pop them back down. And what we're going to do here is just alternate between right and left, bringing this up like this, and then popping it back down. And then another one, bringing the knee up, popping it down. Doing this in a way, hopefully, so that you can join in at home. I've been asked for videos like this where you can join me in a short exercise class. And this is one of the, uh, the first of the series that we're doing on the core. So following along at home, I want you to keep going at this pace, just slowly alternating between your right and your left leg, keeping that back flat throughout. And now I can start to feel a little bit of warmth in my tummy, a good kind of warmth as if it's just switching on and working. We shouldn't feel too much happening at the front of the hip, really. It should be mostly in the tummy. And if you can't feel it in your tummy, chances are you've popped back up like this. Because I can do this exercise wrong, and this is doing it with no core whatsoever. I can just feel it in my hips. But if I flatten my back like this and then lift, that's so much better for my core. So keeping it nice and slow and relaxed throughout. We're going to try and do 10 on each leg before we move on to the next step. The next step is very similar. We're gonna keep the back nice and flat, so keep the core switched on. We're gonna bring one leg up like this. And instead of putting it straight back down, we're now gonna stretch the leg out in front of us. So it's straight, keeping that core relaxed, and then bringing it back in. So again, we're gonna bring this one up, the left one's gonna come up, and then we're gonna extend the leg out just to there lower it and bring back in. So again, up, straight and down and then in. And then we're gonna go up, straight, keeping that core switched on, the back should be flat, down and in. And again, so we're gonna go up, straight, down, I'm back in. You see here my heel is not touching the bed. I'm keeping my heel clear of the bed. Don't want to rest the leg because the straighter the leg is, the more this side of the core has to work to keep the leg relaxed. So we're just going down towards the bed but not touching and then back in. I'm going to show you one more on each side. So up, straight, lower down and back in. Paying real attention to not allowing this to pop up up, straight, slowly down, and then back in, okay? Now we're gonna have a rest. We're just gonna shake the core off, just allow everything to relax just for a moment, just to make sure that we are able to reset in a good position. Then we go straight back into it. So we're gonna put the core on, flatten the back down like this. Now we're gonna bring our leg up towards us, just to 90 degrees and then we're gonna lift the other one as well. And this is quite a challenge for many people. And we're just gonna keep a leg like that, pop the original one back down without allowing the core to lift up or the back to lift up, and then pop the other one down like this. Okay, I'll show you again. So keep the back flat, we're gonna come up, hold there, up, come and meet it. Do not let your back lift up off the bed, keep everything switched on. Then this down, and then this down, like that. And we'll try again. So we're going to bring one up, hold, and then you have to just slightly adjust your core to allow you to lift that second leg. And then we're going to go down and down. When I see people do this at home, I see at this point they start to lift their head. And that's so they're trying to bring their neck muscles into it to help them. Make sure your head stays relaxed throughout. You do not want to be lifting your head up off the bed. Keep the core switched on as you lift that second leg. Hold there for a second and then back down. You can see what I'm doing with my hands here. I'm moving them to different points on my upper body just to check A, that this hasn't popped up, but also to check that the right muscles are working. Because if you can push in through any squidge that might be there. You should feel the muscles underneath just activating as you lift up. And that's nice assurance that you're doing the right thing. 
because those muscles are starting to work. If you feel this in your tummy and not too much in your legs, that's a really good thing. That's what we should feel. Shouldn't feel too much going on at the front of the hip. It should be about 90% happening in the tummy. So now we've done a set of that, we're gonna move on to the next stage. So again, we're gonna keep that nice core activation switched on throughout, bring one leg up here. So we're going up into what we call tabletop position, which is where we were before. So one up and then the other one up as well, keeping that back flat. Now what we're gonna do is just slowly drop one down. This time we're not gonna rest it. We're just gonna to touch the heel on the bed and then bring it straight back up. And then we're gonna go down, keep the core switched on, touch, and come back up. Now this is a very different core workout to what most people do, where they do crunches and sit-ups and quite aggressive core movements. This is just to get the deeper muscles of the core working. So this is more of a transverse abdominal workout than a six-pack workout, if you like. But you might find it incredibly challenging compared to what you normally do if you're not used to it. However, it should be accessible to just about anyone. But if you notice that some of these exercises are too difficult for you, just stick at the one before, because I've done them in an order of difficulty, and keep going with just the ones that you find doable until you feel you can move on to the next one. You can always come back to this video and find a harder exercise as soon as you feel that you're ready for it. And this exercise here, people find that after they do a several repetitions nice and slow, that lower back wants to start to lift up. So if you feel that happening, what I'd recommend you do is just drop both legs down, shake everything off for a moment, and you can usually recharge the core in about 10 or 20 seconds to allow you to go again. So now I'm nice and relaxed in the core, everything's switched off. I can start to put it back on again, just to get myself activated. Then I can go straight back to the tabletop position as many times as I need to. Again, the core is now engaged again, and we can repeat. So we keep it switched on, we drop down, touch, and return. And then again, down, touch, and return. And I like to keep doing repetitions of this until I start to get a bit of a burn in my tummy as if I've worked it quite hard, making sure to always keep that flattened back posture. We shouldn't really be able to easily get the hand in underneath the back. If it's relaxed and it's popped up, the hand should go straight in, but we don't want that to be happening. We want to keep the back nice and flat throughout. So I'm just going to do one more on the left, and then we're going to move on to the next step. So once we're up here, remember, put one leg down at a time to safely get out of that position. I'm going to shake off again, and we're gonna move on to our last exercise, which is called the mini curl up. And I like this exercise because even though it looks a little bit like a crunch or a sit up, it's nothing like those exercises really because it's using the transverse abs more than the rectus abdominis at the front of the, uh, of the tummy. So what we're gonna do is again, keep our knees nice and bent, the head stays relaxed. This time we're gonna put two hands on the front of the legs like this, and we're just gonna flatten the back down like we did before. And the exercise is very simple. You're just gonna lift your head and your shoulders and just slide your hands up towards your knees just until you reach your natural end. I'm not trying to lift up any higher than that. And then I'm gonna very slowly return back to the bed. So again, keep the back flat. And then we're gonna lift up, slide up. Now you can see here that this is not like a sit up because we're not rounding our lower back, it's just our neck and our shoulders that are lifting, but we keep the back flat, lift, slide, and then back down. Now when I get to the top of this movement, I can feel around here, that I start to get a bit of shaking in the core muscles, that's actually a really good thing, it means you're just challenging them to the point where they're working. And if you're one of the people who has neck pain when you do this, you can put one hand behind your head just to help you come up. That doesn't uh, jeopardize the movement. We still get the core activation, but you'll just be able to switch off those neck muscles. So if you feel like it's your neck rather than your core that's stopping you from doing this, you can have one hand back like this just to 
support you. We're going to do 10 repetitions of this in a row. So that's, I think, five. We're going to try again. So slide up just to the top of the knee, like there, and then slowly back down. We're keeping our back straight and neutral throughout. I can feel all of the muscles in my tummy having to activate to allow me to do this movement. So we're up, touch, and then slowly back down. I've lost count again. I'm going to say that seven. We'll try again. Up, touch, and slowly back down. That's eight. Keep it flat. I'm going to go up, slide, slide, slide. Just touch the top of the knee. That's nine. I'll do one more without my hand there, so keep it flat. Arms up, lift the head and the shoulders. Little touch, and then back down and rest. Now that's your 10 minute core routine. You can repeat that as many times as you want. You can do it once per day, you can do it twice per day if you wish, or you can tack on your own exercises as well. But it's a great routine to get the core working. And before long, you won't be a beginner anymore, you'll be an intermediate and you can start to move on to some more challenging core work. So that's my 10 minute beginner core routine that hopefully just about anyone can get started with. And I hope that video has been useful. If you like the routine, do drop a comment below and let me know how you got on because I'd love to read your thoughts. And if you want to get more great exercises like this, these ones, you can grab a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and you can find it on Amazon using the link below. It's got loads more exercises and tips like this to help you stay fit, mobile and active. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I'll see you on the next video.